Hey guys! This has been on my request list for quite a while, so today we're making a wedding dress. Hope you'll enjoy! Because I'm not making it directly on a doll, I'm going to be needing a dress form, and to make this, you first want to sketch out the shape of the body, then stack a few sheets of clay and cut it out. Then use your knife or blade to define the waist, hips, etc. Then smooth that out and add some details. I know some of you get offended when I use this word, but I added some boobs. And usually when you see a dress form, there aren't a lot of details in this region, but I wanted the body to be more like those you would see on a mannequin in a clothing shop or something like that. Once you're done, you can pre-bake, and after pre-baking, you can start adding clay to the back. Once you're happy with the shape, you can bake again. While that was baking, I started working on the stand, and for this, I first sketched out the design I wanted, then took some bronze wire, bent that, and soldered it together. Now if you haven't seen any of my metal furniture tutorials, I'd recommend checking out my vintage bench tutorial, because in there I go through all the materials I use when soldering. Now wrap some mold putty around the dress form, let that set and cut all the way around. You can then fill up the mold with clay, cut off any excess and put the parts together. If you don't have mold putty or if you just want to make one dress form, you can just add the stand to the original sculpt. To make the dress, you first want to measure from where you want the skirt to start, so around the waist, and then down to the bottom. Then cut out a circle that's about twice that length in diameter. To keep the edges from fraying, you can either use a product like Freistay, or you can use glaze or glue. I then cut two more circles in the same size from two other types of fabric. One was marked as bridal tall, I think, and the other one was kind of a sheer white fabric. I also added some fabric stiffener to the skirt and blow dried it, which will ensure that it sits nicely. For the bust, I first took a piece of fabric and folded it on the middle, then trimmed it a bit and started gluing it to the body. The reason why I chose to fold it on the middle is just because the fabric I used isn't that opaque. You don't really have to be too neat because we'll be adding some lace on top, this is just to create a base. And then for the lace, I took this piece of lace ribbon or trim and just cut and glued it in place so that it would fit.
For some final details, I first added some mini beads, and these are a bit smaller than the ones you'd usually see in craft stores or for nail art. I got them as a free gift when ordering something online, so I'm not sure where you can get them. I also added some more lace near the hip area, and for that I used this flower part in this smaller piece of lace and just cut it into irregular shapes. Lastly, I added some pearls, and these are the same type you would use for nail art. And then I used those same pearls and beads for a necklace. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.